Hi, my name's Laura Glewis. I'm an ERP advisor here at Striven. Over the next few videos, I'm going to walk you through project management. In this video, we're going to learn more about project management, and specifically the project's dashboard. This will cover project's dashboard, managing widgets, setting filters, rearrangement of the dashboard, and reporting on the dashboard. So let's get started learning more about Striven. Now let's take a look at the project's dashboard. By going to projects and dashboard, this widget allows me to add projects directly from the dashboard. This widget shows me my recent projects. This one shows me my milestones due. And here I can make adjustments, whether I want it to show this week, all, or several other pre-provided due dates within this list. If I click the settings here, I can change the division, the person responsible, the project type, and the customer, as well as rename the widget when needed. This widget will show me my completed milestones, and again, these are all set by person responsible. So here, I can change the settings to change the person responsible. As of right now, this one shows me. This one will show me my milestone summary for this month or any of the pre-selected due dates within this list. If we change the settings here, again, we can change team, division, or customer. This widget will show me my open milestones by person responsible. And again, you have a list of due dates within here. You can also change the settings to include a different team, division, person responsible, project type, or customer. This one shows me my project summary. My revenue generated is on top, and my projects created this month are listed within this blue bar. Again, we have more settings to change, division, project type, and customer, as well as being able to rename the widget. And of course, we can change our reporting date as well. This one's a custom report. Here I can select my filters. This one's a custom report. Right now, I have this set up for a test report, but if I wanted to, I can actually remove it, as with any of these other ones in here. Here's my happiness rating. From here, again, I can set my happiness ratings to show based on team, division, person responsible, project type, and customer. Look again at the custom reports widget and see what we can add this time. I'm going to select the filters here and choose my new report called Projects Custom Report. Here, you can see the summary of how many projects are within this report and the target date for each of them, if it has one. If I click Load More, you'll see more projects. I can't drag and drop, but I certainly can use the Manage Widgets settings to move things around on my dashboard. Now you can see my milestone summary has moved down to the bottom of my middle column. want to dig deeper and find out which milestones are open this month, I can click directly on the, the chart and bring it up. Let's say that this one is actually an overdue milestone. I'm going to set the date back to today. And then when I save it, it should become overdue. Let's take another look at this project dashboard and see what it does. You can now see that it's turned red to let you know that the milestone is past due. This is similar to the way the tasks dashboard behaves in letting you know that a task is overdue by turning it red as well. If that's not enough, you can also see it up here. Just by looking at the milestones due this week report, I can see that clearing the desktop is in red, indicating it's past due. Now that we've gone over the project management dashboard, be sure to check out our next video and the last one in our project series.